Hey there everybody, this is Patrick from Lost in Games. I am here today with my special guest star. Serena. And we are here to review Dr. Eureka. Dr. Eureka is a dexterity game that can be played by kids of all ages. Um, so we are gonna take a close look at the game here and you are gonna teach them how to play. <laughs> so my crazy uncle over here said that everyone can play this game. But to be really good at this game, you probably should be at least eight years old. This is a wonderful, a wonderful player game, and it takes about 15 minutes to play it. And now, we're gonna teach you how to play the game. Mm -hmm. So, first, you each start out with three test tubes. And you get two of each color. So you each get two purple, two green, and two red. And those are the chemicals in the test mm -hmm. tubes, right? And then what you would want to do is shuffle the challenge cards and put them in a pile like they already were. All right. This is the best shuffle deck ever. <laughs> and then we should flip over one challenge card. So I'm going to flip it over. And then without touching the balls, you want to try to match what's on the challenge card. So, here, I'll try to do it, maybe. If yeah, I can. why don't you do the okay. first one and show them how. So, the first one, we have one, we have, we start at the bottom with two purples and a red. So, that's pretty easy. We can just kind of... So, what she's trying to do here is... So, I got one test tube, and now, and you have to match them in order, too. Yep, is now, mix your chemicals up to match the card. I'm going to... Add one of these. <gasps> Just one of them. And then. Yep. And then when I'm ready, I call out Eureka when I get it. And then I get this card, which is one point. And then whoever gets five points first um, gets wins. That's okay. right. So how about we do one together? Okay. And we Can will we show you. Yeah, no, nope, we'll put that right there, and we will okay. show you a competitive round of Dr. Dr. Eureka. Wait, Dr. Eureka. No. Dr. Dr. Eureka. All right, we're going to turn over the card, and Let's ready, we can. set, go. Oh, I got it wrong! I got it wrong! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! This is a young person's game. So I got, let's see, this, and I got this, and I got this. Eureka! Eureka. <laughs> I think I got it. And that is yep. how the game is played. <laughs> Should we move on to our final thoughts? Yeah. All right. So I like this game because it can get kind of crazy and fun. And also it's kind of like a race of who can get the first card. And it's kind of short game, so you can play it like if you're just waiting for someone to come to your house or something like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And it's really fast. It's yes. really competitive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, like I did, I thought I had it. And then you look at the card and you realize you yep. don't. Right? Yeah. And it's a lot harder than it looks, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and once those kind of drop out, you're like, ah! And you're racing as fast yeah. as you can. Mm -hmm. And as intense as it was for you and I, if you have like three or four players, oh, yeah. it gets crazy. Mm -hmm. So. And I like this game. Also because, I mean, you can probably just play it by yourself, too. You can. You, you don't have practice. To, like I said, one to, one to four players. That's right, yeah. 
So I think on the scale of thumbs down, no thumbs or thumbs up, what do we give this bad boy? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Dr. Eureka, thanks for watching us in Lost in Games. Please subscribe and have a good day, right? Yep. Bye. Bye.